What's up guys? Today I'm going to be showing you how to double or even triple your battery life in your PS4 controller while maintaining the same form factor. There's no external battery packs or anything. It looks just like a regular uh, PS4 controller. So a few things you're going to need. You're going to need to buy uh, a PSP, Sony PSP battery. This particular one I got is 2600 milliamps. Now I have seen ones that are 3600 milliamps. So that would technically triple your battery life. But you need to make sure that the battery you're getting is a quality one and it's actually 3600 milliamps. So uh, another thing is uh, just make sure that it's 3.6 volts or 3.65. You can pretty much do this hack with any battery. The problem is, is finding a battery with the form factor of the battery that came in the PS4 controller in the first place. That's the biggest thing. You can easily find a 3000 milliamp battery that's 3.6 volts, but the problem is the form factor. So I found these PSP batteries to work just great. Now a few things you're going to need, uh, you're going to need a soldering iron, you're going to need some solder, this is what I'm using, a very small tipped screwdriver, and a plastic wedge type tool for prying open the old battery. So what we're going to do first off is we're going to unscrew all the screws from the back of the PS4 controller. So once you've done that, make sure you, you put the screws off to the side in a safe place because you don't want to lose those. Now very carefully you're going to have to take this apart because these little bumpers here tend to pop off sometimes so just be careful while you're taking those out. So it's going to be a little difficult at first. What I found is you squeeze in on each side here and it pops these little parts up and then you just got to very carefully pop up the top piece. You know, like I told you to be careful, I just popped off one of the controller bumpers. Okay, so you just saw that my left and right bumpers popped off. Here's the L2. So what you're going to do is, you're going to take your, your bumper. There's these two little grooves on each side on your uh, controller. And that's where these little things on each side are going to go. So just make sure you line the, the button up. You're going to take your spring and you're going to put it on this little edge right here. See that right there? And then there's a little, if you look at the controller, there's a little slot. A little slot right there and that's where uh, one arm of the spring is going to go. So you just, I find it easy to put your thumb against one of the sides to hold the spring from going anywhere. Put one of the arms inside that little slot. And then once you have the, the little notches lined up, you just click it in place. There you go. All fixed. So now while we're here, we have everything apart. I don't very much care for these PS4 uh, sticks. I prefer the Xbox One stick. So what I did was I went ahead and went on eBay and bought some, uh, I bought a pair of Xbox One sticks. They fit perfectly on here and they tend to give you a, a, a lot better control, I feel. So if you're gonna do that, uh, just there's one screw, you unscrew here. And then you just need to make sure that when you're lifting up, you're careful because there's still a ribbon connected to this thing, so. And these sticks just pop off. 
And you just push the Xbox Ones on. You just need to make sure that they go on the right way. These are like sanded down on each side. You just need to make sure you look at the controllers and line that up correctly. So if you pulled that tab out like I did, you just need to make sure you push it back in. Yeah, just take off this plastic piece and the little tab is right here. You just push it in and lock it down. So now here's the tricky part. Since I'm not gonna be saving this battery, I'm just gonna go ahead and clip these connectors here at the bottom. Get it as close to you as the bottom as you can. And I'm gonna strip the ends of this here. So now we're gonna take out our battery. So now again, very carefully, you're gonna to have to open up this plastic casing without damaging the battery inside. So the easiest and safest way to do this was to get a razor, very carefully by the battery connector, make a little opening slicing outward away from the battery, and then going to the other side and then doing the same thing here, and then using your plastic pry tool to work your way around the battery case. So another thing that's gonna help you out is if you very carefully score the little seam around the battery and once you do that it'll help uh, pop it off once you get like a little point to where you can grab in So this is what the battery looks like once you get it out of the casing. I will tell you that was a pain in the ass. So if you just work the little connection piece back and forth, it eventually just comes off. So you don't need that anymore. So when you're looking at the battery, the little terminal over here is plus and the left, the very far left is um, the minus sign. So just be aware of that. So now we're gonna bust out our soldering iron. Okay, so once you have that all soldered on there nice and good, what we're going to do is we're going to wrap the battery in electrical tape. Not very thick, just a, a nice layer just to insulate everything so no metal touches this and shorts out your battery. All right, so we got our battery all covered up. Now we're gonna put it back in our PS4 controller. So first I put that screw back in that I took out earlier to put in the control sticks. So now we can plug our battery in. And it fits in there like that. Then we take our top piece and we have to plug this cable back in. Make sure you plug it in the right way. Make sure you very carefully slide this over the bumpers. Make sure everything lines up. Push everything back together. All right, we're 
before we put all the other screws back in, let's test it out. There you go. <laughs> As you can see, it's blinking. So we're going to go ahead and put the screws back in. All right, let's plug it in the charger and see what happens. Got the micro USB cable, let's plug it in. There you go. So the reason it stopped is because it's already fully charged. So that was it. You saw that it turned yellow and it is working. So there you have it. That's one way to more than double a little bit your battery life in your PS4 controller. It's not the easiest to do, but it's definitely worth it. I've tried some of the 2000 milliamp uh, replacement PS4 batteries off eBay and the one that I had last less than the original PS4 controller battery. So that's why I decided to try to do this mod because the PSP batteries tended to be the actual 2600 milliamps that they stated. One last thing I had to tell you, I have tried this in another controller that I had. I put in a 3600 milliamp battery. It worked great, lasted a lot longer than the original PS4 battery, but when it dies, it dies hard. So when the PS4 controller tells you that it's running low on battery, you might have like 30 seconds to a minute before it dies. But that's about it. I uh, hope you guys found the video informative. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. Subscribe for some more videos. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.